Right, it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're back at Meadowbank again. Feels like we've been here a lot this month. Obviously, we have. Mark, uh, how are you today? Um, been a bit of a uh, few moments going on this morning, but how are you now this afternoon? Yeah, looking forward to enjoying the game once we've um, fixed the uh, other issues in the ground, <laughs> shall we say. Um, yeah, I'm fine, mate, thanks. Could be a lot worse. Um, looking forward to playing Rod's Welling and um, looking forward to getting a few in here again. Yep. Not much else to do is there in end of October. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. So we've got to yeah, fly. So money, money. Yeah. We need that. Money spider. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Welling, the visitors this afternoon. Obviously, a club that we have played a few times before previously. And you um, obviously um, had uh, your incident with Peter Taylor when he was manager here. And we've had some um, good wins against them also here. Um, how is the squad today and the team that you've picked? I know you mentioned yesterday a few injuries and, and players unavailable. How is everything, how's everything sort of shaped up today? It's annoying, isn't it, really? I mean, Char Charlie's got a significant off-field batter, but... There's a chance Charlie uh, will return next week, and okay. we really, we really miss our captain. And you know, frankly speaking, you know, best player in the league probably. Um, and obviously, we're missing Pybus and Josh Taylor, yeah. um, George Frankham as well. So centrally, we're definitely very light. Yeah. Um, but I think everywhere, everywhere else, we wouldn't really complain. Yeah. It's just those central areas. We're, we're basically our entire sort of intended pre-season first choice midfield yeah. um, is missing and has been for well, this will be the fourth game. So, but listen, we've got a great squad for this division, mm -hmm. and if we're prepared to work hard, we'll get the win. I think that's where we are. With um, just before we move on, to some of those other um, players that are involved today with those midfield players, is there any kind of estimates on on sort of long-term outlooks for any of those and? Because I think you said last week that Dan Piper potentially was going to be available today and, and clearly not yet. Kind of long-term outlooks for him, Josh Taylor, people like that. Josh Taylor, mid-November at the earliest. Piper's hoping he may be able to return next week. Okay. But that's going to be a bit of a nursing job. Mm -hmm. um, Charlie, like I said, hopefully next week. Yeah. Charlie just makes a massive difference to us. I think the fans love him. Yeah. He's exciting, creative. He was made for Dorking Wanderers away, he plays football, and yeah. uh, he's a big loss as a leader as well. Mm. You shouldn't underestimate that. So, yeah, look, I mean, bar Josh Taylor, we're hoping to get the rest back pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But it's not one to complain about. It's a fact, but we've got a team plenty strong enough to win our matches yeah. in this division. Um, Josh Brookin obviously is available today. Is that um, something that's not then um, carried over for today but kicks in next week? Yeah, seven days. It's weird, isn't it? So in the league above, it's the next game. Okay. And in this league, it's seven days. Like, right. No one ever quite knows the reason for the right. rules, but sometimes there is good, rule, good reasons. Um, yeah, really disappointed with that, really. I mean, look, it's... Um, I think it's a two-gamer, but okay. it's Farnborough Maidstone. Right. Um, that's sort of where our <laughs> innocuous stuff is at the yeah, moment. Yeah. I, after the game, uh, in my head, I was thinking, oh, that's Farnborough Maidstone. And uh, for, for this division, they're notable games. And yeah. that's one of the reasons we're not going to force George in today. Mm -hmm. George came off a little bit achy um, with that okay. uh, injury from last season for the first time this year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, look, we've... We've done really well without Josh Brookin and we'll do well again. Uh, mm -hmm. But obviously he's a magnificent player to watch yeah. and he does, he really does show people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like the level he's at. I yeah. mean, that, you know, sometimes I hear even our players go, blimey Josh, you're good. <laughs> um, so yeah, but listen, we're, um, yeah, we're, um, we're confident and we've got to take one game at a time. I do feel like we're still rebuilding. Yeah. We're still everyone's cup final. The team still celebrate when they get a corner or get a win. And, and so they should, because we are a scalp in this division. Yep. And even if we finish sixth bottom, we'd mm -hmm. still be a scalp because we've got the players, the resources, the energy, the profile. Yeah. So, you know, we have to get used to working really hard mm -hmm. to win matches in this division because yeah. often the only thing the opposition have got 
is that. Yeah. That's the only thing they can beat us with. Yeah. The rest they struggle to. Yeah. So that's where we are, mate. We'll see how we get on today. And I noticed that we've got Brennan Camp back on the bench today. That's a boost for the uh, for the club, isn't it? Especially with the um, Josh. suspensions of Josh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see how fit he is. I mean, he's, he's not a very fit young man, but yeah. Um, but yeah, he's um, yeah he's back. He's back. That's it. I mean, it's you know, it was an innocuous one, wasn't it? That yeah. that shoulder. So yeah. he's yeah. back. So. I think we'll see him feature. It'd be nice to try and get him on today. I think in Briggs and Brennan, they're, they're on the bench, they're, they're both not fully fit. Um, okay. Theo's unlucky not to be playing. He's trained brilliantly. Uh -huh. um, but He's had a quite an unfortunate sort of start to his, yeah. his career so far, hasn't he? With the sort yeah, of yeah. things outside of his control yeah. that have happened in the games that he's yeah. played in. And he's been patient. Yeah. And I mean, we put him on and we had to take him off yeah. and all sorts. But today, you know, today I, I'd have loved to put him out there and give Jason a bit of a breather. I think that mm -hmm. works for us at times, but mm -hmm. in the absence of Charlie, yeah. like you're sort of thinking, well, you've lost your captain. Pryor is a big leader. Yeah. You can only take so many leaders out of a team yeah. when it's going to be rough and tumble. Yeah. You know, so that yeah. that was actually the reason behind that today. Yeah. But um, but yeah, look, I think Wellen would be good to won the last couple, but I, I'd expect us to have great moments in this game. Mm -hmm. And um, just finally, Mark, I think you met your stunt double, didn't you, just before the game started? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> this style icon. long lived, the, long lived. The, yeah, I know. But this is this is it, mate. This is uh, this is how it works these days. Mate. How things have changed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think there's a lad here, isn't there? That's modelled himself on on yourself. He's he does. Yeah, he's a, yeah, so he's a. Yeah, so he's a top lad. Now top, become top a, lad. Uh, an icon, and people will follow. I oh, know it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Don't <laughs> Maybe follow we'll him. Super dish after. <laughs> well, yeah. You never know. Although I've been quoted, it changed its name a long time ago. Yeah, Marina. Yeah, it's 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 every chance. That, there's every chance that people are driving up and down looking for super dish. They're probably better off changing well, their name te back. Tesco. Yeah, the yeah. Street. Exactly. Yeah. Change their name back. You're showing our age there. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Mate. Thanks, Mark. As Cheers, always, bro. and we'll speak to you at five o'clock or so. Mate.